Hello everyone, this is a really quick short video. I had a request for an inbox review of the Twin Mustang kit and I realized I had a second one so I'm not opening the prize, the one I'm giving away in the contest. This is probably the exact same kit. They're both made by Monogram, they're both 172nd scale. When I look at the photos on the boxes and compare them, they look like they're the same model. So I'm going to use this as a proxy for the review of that kit. So let's open her up. Again, this is an open box. I bought this on eBay on a whim and it turned out it was missing a few pieces. Right here we have the decal sheet. It is um, pretty standard. This is a 172nd kit, so you know, you're not going to have any large, large decals. You do have some instrument panels on there and a couple uh, symbols here and there along with some call numbers and a few other things. This plane was used in the Korean War, so um, I don't really expect any fancy markings or anything. Here's the underside of the wing. The flaps have a recessed panel line on them, but the rest of the panel lines are raised. I know that's the bane of the modeling world because if you do any seam filling and try to sand to fix your seams, those raised panel lines go right away and you can't get them back. That's why people don't like raised panel lines. But it has some fairly decent detail to it. You can see the wheel wells have some good detail to them. All right. So there's the underside of the wing. This bag has a few of the pieces. It has uh, the part of the broken gun, one wing and one of the seats. Here's one of the fuselages, and I don't know what the heck that thing is. Okay. And again, it is raised panel lines and raised rivets. There's some decent detail on it, but if you're not careful when you're seam filling, you're going to remove some of that detail. All right, and it comes with some bombs. And again, some of the pieces are missing. What it's really missing is one of these control sticks. Yeah, you know, that, I think that's the main part it's missing is that control stick, to be honest with everyone. Here's a few more parts. Again, the raised panel lines. You can see the detail on the wings is fairly decent. If it wasn't raised panel lines, it'd be a pretty decent little kit, in my opinion. I wish these companies would get away from the raised panel lines and start doing recessed. You can rescribe those. Here's another sprue with some missiles on it, because this thing has a missile rack on it. Both pilots are there. Okay. We have another set of sprue. Here's the main gun, and the missing gun barrel goes right where my finger's at right now. Okay, one of the seats, the other seat is in that bag over there. It almost looks like that's broken. It's not. I don't know what's in that bag, because here's the other seat. Here's a piece of sprue that's missing parts. And here we have the missing parts. They are the twin propellers. The twin propellers do have a line on them. They're, they're not molded too badly. The kit really doesn't look like it's molded that badly. Okay. Then we have the canopy, and I'm going to pull this out. I'm glad I opened this because this is broken off the sprue. She is getting scratched up and beat up in this box. So what I'm going to do is get her in a separate bag. And the last piece, the stabilizer that goes between the two. Again, the flap is recessed, but the panel line is raised. The instruction sheet I didn't get to is the fold-out style. It's three-page fold-out. She doesn't look like she's all that horribly done, the instruction sheet, anyhow. Okay, so you can see it. It is two-sided. And we have the paint call-outs at the end and the decal placements. Again, this is the older version of that kit, and I really doubt Monogram has changed it up too much. I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to the same kit. Hope you enjoyed the quick out-of-box review.